Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Welcome to our webinar on Good Agricultural Practices. Ano po ang pagkaintindi niyo sa Good Agricultural Practices? So, just to give you some rationale on what is Good Agricultural Practices, uh, GAP aims at applying science-based knowledge to addressing environmental, economic, and social sustainability dimensions for on-farm production and post-production process, resulting in safe and quality food and non-food agricultural products. So broadly speaking, this encompasses all the four modules of good agricultural practices and food safety. So with uh, God, this gives us an assurance of food safety and quality of agricultural products by ensuring compliance with standards during production, harvesting, and post-harvest handling of our produce. So, ano pong legal framework for the Philippine GAP or Philippine Good Agricultural Practices? So, this is a part of Republic Act 10611 or other known, otherwise known as the Food Safety Act of 2013. So, this is an act to strengthen the food safety regulatory system in the country to protect consumer health and facilitate market access of local foods and food products and for other purposes. So, food safety, when we say about food safety, this refers to the assurance that the food will not cause harm to the consumer when it is prepared or eaten to its intended use. So, with this Republic Act 10611 or the Food Safety Act of 2013, dito po naka-anchor yung legal framework for GAP. And then the Department of Agriculture Administrative Circular Number 1, Series of 2018, which is the rules and regulations on the certification of Philippine GOP for crops superseding the administrative order number one series of 2013 was issued. So this is uh, this, uh, an act to strengthen the food safety regulatory system in the country to protect consumer health and facilitate market access of local foods and food products and for other purposes. So this is an ASEAN Good Agricultural Practices it's based on the ASEAN Good Agricultural Practices for the production of fresh fruits and vegetables in the ASEAN region. That's why this administrative circular number one Series of 2018, 2018 was promulgated. So, with this administrative circular 2018, number one, series of 2018, uh, this will give us uh, the facilitation and adoption of the four GAP modules. This is food safety, produce quality, environmental management, and workers' health and safety, and this uh, and welfare, and this establishes the revised rules and procedures, and ensuring and maintaining Philippine GAP certification. So this also will facilitate the availability and access of Philippine agricultural crops to neighboring ASEAN market and other foreign market. So this will cover farms and packing facilities with agricultural crops harvested at a point in their growth stages intended for human consumption and to be processed as raw materials
for food and for the food products. So this is the rules and regulations of the certification of Philippine good agricultural practices for crops. So this advocacy training and updates that we will be providing you through this webinar today uh, will be uh, targeted in the five provinces of Pico region, which include Albay, Camarines Norte, Camarines Sur, Catanduanes, and Masbate. So with this one day webinar, uh, we will be able uh, to achieve the following objectives for this webinar. One is to strengthen information dissemination campaign on protocols and guidelines on of GAP certification. Uh, give you some updates of what is the latest guidelines for GAP. And then this will uh, provide you an orientation and reorient our stakeholders on GAP code of practices and to give you a status of GAP certified farms in the Bicol region. So at the end of this webinar, uh, we do hope that these objectives, three objectives, uh, will be attained. So this webinar will focus on the four GAP modules, as I have said earlier, uh, to tackle the environmental management. Ano po ba yung mga dapat natin gawin? Uh, in considering uh, environmental management, yung mga dapat at hindi natin dapat gawin pag nag-implement po tayo ng GAP. And then uh, our speakers, so one of our speakers also will take up worker health, safety, and welfare. So dapat po, ano yung mga dapat din natin uh, gawin para ma-protect yung ating mga uh, farmer as as, as as a farmer and ay yung mga laborer ho natin, considering the environmentals and then the workers' health and welfare, uh, much as we wanted to produce quality product. And then yung last one, yung food safety. So with this five Philippine GAP element, uh, we do hope that at the end of this webinar, lahat ho ay maintindihan kung ano ho yung mga dapat natin mga gawin uh, para ho tayo makapag-apply sa GAP certification. So without much ado, thank you very much uh, for your time and thank you for supporting the different programs and projects of the Department of Agriculture. Uh, GAP, save us. Thank you.